Good morning, beautiful beings, and welcome to the Wingish Nibay Mujeki Quay Begin Within Guidance Channel. That'd be me, Wingish Nibay Mujeki Quay, sweet grass water medicine woman. I'm your friendly, freaky ass medicine woman, also known as Christiana Carr and Chris Carr Superstar. Yep, all this beautiful divine being right here. Um, and hello to all you divine beings right here, too, right? It's whenever we're there, we're always here. Right? Once you get there, you say, I'm here. So, stop trying to get there. Just be here. Right? Okay. Yeah, swinging, of course, right? Lots going on. This is this is what's happening. Got to finding that balance, right? You release. We got to swing again and then release some more. Find that balance. Each is on their personal journeys. Balance is personal to everybody. So, I thought also finding our centers. Sometimes we need that to come especially after everything's been released and everything's all scattered because we're just letting it go. Time to bring that back, pull all those energies back here and now, right? Because we've released all the energies that are no longer serving us and we've got to pull back to us all those energies that do serve us, right? So let's get a little smudge going. I'm going to need some more sage soon. Oh, okay. oh but my eagle sis is back in town. Dang right. Yep. Went to go see her, got some beautiful, beautiful gifts. Like, it's just, just amazing. I'm so, I feel so humbled and blessed and honored. And I, I must confess, a little scared too. I get scared. I get scared feeling feelings for people. But I, I do freely, right? Because it just comes so naturally out of me that it scares me. I get I get attached and then I kind of in some way detached but not really detached but like it's like preparing myself and especially now it's kind of thrown me through a loop with everything that's going on now so hey new ways of being but that's great right nothing stays the same the only thing constant is change and change actually is what keeps me going really having faith in the change, embracing the change. I'm not saying I always like the change. <laughs> no, you don't have to like it to embrace it, okay? So it's good for you, right? Sometimes those things that are good for us is the things we kind of just grudgingly do. And then in the end we go, whoa, that was really good for me. Hopefully, hopefully, if we take that time to look and do that within work. That's what that within work is, right? To look, how is this going on in me? Oh, here we go. Hmm. Here we are. Okay. We'll get you done there. All right? Clear. No deception. Stop deceiving ourselves. Okay? Remember? It's where we got to start with. Truth begins in here. Being true to yourself, right? Always tell yourself the truth. Because how can you be really truthful with anybody else if you're not really truthful with yourself first, right? It all begins within. It's that self-reflection. We're all on our personal journeys here. Okay, well, that, that was it for now. You know what? I'm going to do that special sweet grass. We're going to bring the sweet grass out today. Calling in more of those positive energies, right? Sage these releases found these results. My phone's talking. Oh, see, this Google stuff freaks me out. It just started listening to me. It just started listening to me and found results for the sweet grass. Funny. That was it for now. You know that I'm going to do that special. <laughs> it was just listening to me. What the hey? creepy these things the other day i woke up and it says uh, you were sleeping from this time i had to read it again it said were you sleeping because the phone wasn't moving i thought oh, it's my phone turning on and watch me creepy okay anyways <laughs> sweet grass mm, that nice vanilla -y scent mm -hmm. my spirit name i'm calling in all those positive energies for today, for that weekend, that clearing out. It'll be a tough weekend for some, actually, you know? Sometimes there's holidays, family gatherings. It can be, can be tough for some. 
especially those that don't feel so close to their families right now. It was a lonely one for me, but you know, still a little adventure in it. That's my life. That's cool. That's cool. All right, can you smell that? That sweet, sweet grass scent. It's amazing. And there you are. Bringing in all those positive energies. Yes. Okay. Woo. Smell. Okay. Excuse me. My nose is running a little bit. It's a running. I gotta catch it. Oh, this will work. It's running and I gotta catch it. So excuse me. I'm gonna do a little right here. There. Excuse me. Sorry for that. But, you know, better than it dripping out my nose, right? Okay. That, I think that might have been a little bit grosser than getting it out of there. Huh? Okay. So anyways, what did I say we were gonna do today? Let's find the center. Yeah, I'm kind of all over the place. That's all right. That's all right. Lots of feelings coming up, you know? You clear out those old ones, but then it's hard. Now I'm feeling, woo, kind of vulnerable, right? You shed that old skin, and then you're feeling vulnerable. But that's, that, my dears, is where our strength lies, in our vulnerabilities. Look at that, right? Never be ashamed to hide that. There is sometimes we need those boundaries, too. We can't show everybody our vulnerabilities, especially those that are just waiting to take advantage of those. <sighs> But trust, as we get in touch with that and center in ourselves, then we kind of just know who those safe people are, who is safe to share those vulnerabilities with, right? Because that's, that's an awareness, too, that we all need, right? So we're not getting our shit all over each other, right? That's the whole goal of this whole thing. Let's not get our shit on each other. Let's wipe our own asses. Let's just learn our own lessons. All we can focus on, the only person that we can truly truly change is this one here and we kind of have to open up to that because even that we don't do ourselves we don't change ourselves it's opening up to those possibilities and being open to that right 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 that's right you agree with me <laughs> no you don't have to <laughs> no you look inside never follow blindly anybody right you trap into your true source right tap into your true source there's the truth right <sighs> right what's the truth we're in this together we're all earthlings on this earth and it needs every single one of us so i'm so glad you're here thank you i mean it too that's right mm -hmm. Okay, so let's call in all of our energies back to us. Let's get focused and centered. From the east, that's the place of fire, the place of man, inspiration, clarity, illumination. And then we come into the south, the place of the waters, the innocence, the child. Okay? And then we come all in the, the energies of the physical, the woman, the earth, and the east, that's the west. Right? This was the south. Okay. <laughs> I guess I just sort of threw those out there because I was mixing them up last time. And then we go up into the north, right? This is our wisdom years. This is the mental, and that is the air. And we walk our red road, this earth walk from childhood in the south, right? we got to heal anything from childhood, release it, and we bring... So we're not bringing it up into our adulthood, but sometimes, right? That's the intention, is not to bring it into our adulthood. For me, for my children, is to help them get help through not bringing shit into their adulthood or at least the tools to deal with that if they're going to carry it with them at least they got the tools to help them fix it whatever <laughs> okay and the blue road of spirit goes from east to west of course gentleness dear well there was two cards to heal be gentle on yourself with that healing there's no rushing that slow and steady right you didn't get to this place overnight right so slow and steady it's not going to heal that and we have that spirit there that spirit is gentle that's that still quiet voice i mean we say oh it's going to get our attention it's us that gets our own attention i think um i feel it's not the universe because the universe is pretty gentle on us that still quiet voice i think so i think we're more harder on ourselves than the universe is on us yeah i'm believing that even more 
and more and more. Because the more I push, I am harder on myself than the universe is on me, right? Ah, uh, that's what I found. Anyway, that's my experience. How about yours? What's yours? Above, below, and within. Full, whole, and complete. We are. Already. Already. Even when we don't feel that way, we already are fully whole and complete. So, moon launch spread for centering. First, we go over to the east. The east. I believe that's the whirling spirit. I'll pull out the cards and we'll get the actual meanings of the card placements, but I'm sure. The Whirling Spirit card is over here in the east, right? It gives you clarity to your talents and stuff. And then the south. The south is our true feelings and emotions about how we feel about something or a person. Okay. And then the west. It's your introspection. You better have some talents cards. See the west. The west, the west. Uh, okay, this one wants to come out. The West and then the North, the inner wisdom that we might not have known in ourselves. The inner wisdom that we have but we might not have recognized in ourselves. And then in the center, we have our true self. Once the true self is known, nobody else can deceive you. Once we know who we are, right? Nobody can change that. It's up to us to know who we are. Because if we're not knowing who we are, we're kind of looking for that validation on the outside of who we are, right? So get in touch. Know who you are. And you'll never be fooled. Okay. Never say never. Brings your chances down. Okay, well, let's get to it, right? The center card. The true self. The true self. We all are. Deep at our course, right here. That's where we are. There we are. Okay. Tops and bottoms here we got. Okay. The mouse scrutiny. Details, 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 right? Sometimes we get caught up in the details. It's important to play, pay attention to details. Like there's balancing energies. Mouse is a very balancing energy to eagles, right? Because once eagle gets down to the ground, it can't see. But what it can see from up here, right? So it helps to have those balancing energies of holding the bigger picture, you know, and, and taking the steps and, you know, you know, but not focused on the details. You don't need to chew everything to bits, right? That's what mouse energy says. Don't chew everything to bits. Because we'll have these vision quests, the things coming in. Sometimes we just need to open up and allow that to come in. Because what we're seeking and finding, you ever ever do that? You're searching frantically around your home for something and you can't find it. And the minute you stop, there it is, right? So it's, we do so much of that finding and then we need to sit back and let that reflection and let it, allow it to come to us because the more we're fighting for something and oh, 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 because I'm still seeking and finding that, 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 that lets the universe know that you haven't found it yet. Right? So look at those details, those little things that you've already found. Look at the little ways that everything you're seeking and finding is starting to show up. So watch for those little details. It's quiet. It's not going to be loud. Not going to be loud. Very quiet. Be content, easygoing, free flowing. All right? So look at that. Watch for that today. Now, the things that you have asked for or that you've been looking for look and notice all the little ways that it's showing up in your life right it's a slow and steady things don't manifest like poo right things do seem to manifest out of thin air but it's not like an instant right i got this house here like it manifest it didn't manifest out of thin year this was years years in the making right uh, some of you who know me right i was talking about my little shop before I even moved to BC, which was in 2002. Um, you know, that's one of the things that I wanted to do, right? So it's happening, uh, slow and steady, and I have faith, but there I'm human being too, being human too. Got to process, got to release, not get caught up in all the details, notice for myself how these little things are showing up, right? We all need to do it, no exceptions. 
I'll tell you no exemptions. Hey, yeah, and I'm bossy too, so I'm getting there. You know what? I'm the firstborn. Hey, isn't that my birthright to be bossy? <laughs> okay, if you want to, you can go ahead and do it. Okay, east, right? Let me just see. I'm pretty sure that's what we said is the whirling spirit. East is the whirling spirit. Yes! Unlocking your spiritual nature and clearly seeing your spiritual talents and abilities. Look at that. To respect yourself, that sacred space of who you are. This divine little being. That divine little being right there. Yes, you are. No matter what your size, you've got a divine little being right inside of you. That's her essence. That's her core. That's never changing. So we need to show that respect. And that little being has been covered over and layered with our life experiences. But still there. Still there inside of you. Nurture that little being. Give it what it always craved, what it always needed. That those adults who, 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 who were who, you know, operating from their own little beings inside do. Right? Whatever they did, it's time to take that back and give that care and nurturing to that little being. It's like, it's okay, sweetie. I am here. Right? Oh, that one gets me, okay? Heather Asher Amamera is uh, who said that one. That doesn't, you know, most, nothing comes from me, really. It's stuff I've heard. It's the collected, the eclecticness of what I've gathered along the way, really. Really, right? Transformation and butterfly and embracing that, who you are right unlocking we take some time you gotta take some time in that cocoon gotta take some time as that caterpillar and eat and eat and eat and eat you know but now we gotta clear that out right we're in that chrysalis there's this little being in that chrysalis ready to get out and spread those wings we need that struggle to strengthen the wings so that we can fly right so be grateful for that struggle okay because it's going to strengthen those wings Right? We don't want to go find ourselves tr in trouble, right? We're not going to go, oh, well, I just need to go struggle then, right? Or, oh, suffering is the key, right? Um, no, it doesn't have to be. We have the choice. We can learn from suffering. We can learn from joy. And you can, free will beings, choices, right? That does, you, you can find joy in suffering. Mm-hmm. Ooh, truth tingles because I have myself found joy in suffering. Mm, I know. Even I go, what? But it, it's true. True. In my suffering, as, as I've opened up, I found some joy in opening up and not being rejected. Right? Opening up and being embraced. You know, I felt that by spirit, but now I actually have human beings that I truly feel that unconditional assent acceptance from them you know what I thought I had from my family but what I just told myself I had from my family and that's not a blanket for everybody I'm not into like oh one person was this so that means they're all like that no right every family has them no family is a perfectly healthy functioning family we've all got some level of dysfunction happening that seems to be the function of this world is dysfunction <laughs> but, but, but. let's get to the next card right so respect your sacred space and as you're respecting yourself right it's easier to allow that for others too or to see right look around the world and respect that little being inside each people and when they're having little temper tantrums that's that little being in there that didn't get that love it needed that that didn't get something it needed that was essential to its development but that doesn't mean it's not going to come to you right open up okay Field of Plenty. This is the new growth or seed card. Look to this card for possible beginnings, either in personal relationship or in how you relate to the environment. In the moon launch spread, this card may reveal your true feelings about someone or something. It is a card that will show your hidden emotions towards a person or thing. Field of Plenty. Your ideas and needs manifested. Isn't that just how we started out? Whatever you were seeking or finding, look at how it's already there, right? me like things that I thought of when I was a kid and all the things that I wanted to do when I was a kid I can see how those have manifested a little bit like I always wanted to get into child psychology I always wanted to help the kids right in my ways it's kind of shifted but that main theme has kind of stayed there right this weekend I am going to go to the empower to connect workshop and work on this trust based relational intervention and I'm seeing 
the bigger picture. I got to follow these little details, but helping and training those workers that need to develop a quick trust-based relationship with children, right? They get 10 or 15 minutes for an interview. What kind of child is going, not what kind of child. It's not about the child. It's not the child's fault, right? It's up to us adults to show those children they are safe. And even if you know they are safe, it doesn't mean that child's always going to feel safe. So it's about building that trust relationship as quickly as possible so that children are able to get out what they need to get out, right? So the idea is indeed manifested, that deep self-reflection, looking at that, looking at those inner children, right? What is that that we needed, right? What has already come true for you? Let's focus on that today, okay? What has already come true for you? Where you held that faith, you knew that was coming, or whatever it was. However, how, what, what, what have you, what ideas and needs have you already seen manifested in your life? Let's take out ourselves that we manifested it. Get out of the way. That's an ego thing where we want to always attach and get the, get the acknowledgement for, look at what I did. I mean, I do it too. I do it too. We're human. We're being human here. So don't beat yourself up for it. But it's just looking at that. Looking at how your ideas and needs did manifest. When you focused, you took those steps, what is it that you did? I would just love to hear it. So keep the interactions coming. Share your stories. That'd be wonderful. What have you noticed for yourself, those deep reflections? So that's in the true self, right? The true self and your true feelings about something, right? And how does that make you feel when you've discovered something that you wanted and you followed the steps? How does it feel when those things come into fruition? and feel that that's that's a big key to feeling those feelings of it's already been right being grateful for it as if it's already here um oh, oh chills down my spine in the west here over in the introspection that's the illumination and the clarity right we do that deep side we look inside and we see what came into the light right what has come into the light for us and this, the West, is the dream within the dream. You may lead to your real purpose in life, so study it carefully. Is your dream a vision, dream or vision, a product of your superficial ego? Or are you being truly introspective and in realizing the goals which your higher self is suggesting? Or your source, whatever you want to call it. It is here in the West that you impregnate yourself with your real life mission. To shine your light bright in all that you do. Let your beautiful light shine through. Because nobody can shine it quite like you. That's the illumination and clarity. Get in there. See that light. Look at this divine little being. Respect that divine little being. Give that divine little being a voice and shine that light bright. Right? The inner knowing, the wisdom, it's tapping into that. What have you already done? Things that we've just followed and we didn't know, right? That's that true guidance, okay? We go get into overanalyzing and overthinking and all that. That true clarity, that illumination. We've gone in there. We've already got this. And what manifested? Was it the stuff we worked hard, hard, hard? Or was it these things that just went, I don't even know. Because it's like I didn't do anything and here it is. It just fell into my lap, you know? That's when you know you when you're really in the flow because it feels like it just fell into your lap. When really, when you take a look back, you can look at all those steps. It's in there. That inner knowing in that wisdom. Like, how does salmon get back to the spawning rivers from the ocean after it grows up spending, you know, it knows. It's like, I don't know why I'm going out of this salty water into this fresh water here, but I'm going. Why the heck am I forcing myself up against, but I'm going, right? It just does it. It just does it, okay? It's that divine intelligence, that inner wisdom. Like that's where the true power lies. It's that connection inside that we all have no exceptions. No exceptions. Whew. Oh boy, that that's so chilly. Oh, it's so chill chilly. <laughs> Truth tingles, let me tell you. Big time. I'm just like, whoa. Follow it. Let it flow. Right? Follow it. Let it flow. Hmm. The North card. The inner wisdom. You may not have recognized in yourself. The North is the place of wisdom and knowing. Therefore, if you're looking outside for answers 
This card gently nudges you to following the animals animals lead to find the same wisdom within yourself. Study this card with the idea of no studying this card with the idea of knowing yourself will break any self-deceptions you may have. So here we're talking about what's manifested. So those passions, the spontaneity, right? What has just sort of manifested? Like you haven't worked hard. It just kind of seemed to come out of nowhere, right? But you have done the work. That's the thing. Look at those little details. When you got out of your own way. Look at those times. You got out of your own way. So what ignites your fire, right? Let's get that spark going. What's, what makes you feel so passionate, right? That's a secret. Well, it's not really a secret, but that's the an indication of your purpose here. It's in line with your passions. It's in line with your passions. Whatever your passion is, that's your purpose. It's in line with your passion. What brings you to light? Right? What sets your soul on fire in a good, passionate way? What, what makes you feel like being spontaneous? Right? we got to get out of our own way and do that. Right? We're such a regimented and everything's got to be just so. Where's the spontaneity in this world anymore, right? you got to do that. You know, that's what we're building on. And you build on that. Build on that, that passion, right? It starts with that little spark. What, what, what lights me up? I need to do more of that. And then you just keep building on that little by little. That's what I did through my life. I wanted to be a child psychologist. How do I help the children, right? Well, well help the alcoholic, right? Well, I don't want to just help the alcoholic. He's making choices for himself. How about the kids that have to deal with that and don't even know? Well, what about the wife that's got to deal with that? It's all been coming around, right? I thought maybe it's the kids. Now I'm kind of getting this feeling like uh, counseling men, you know, because I've been around boys my my whole life. I've even been, been told I should have been a boy sometimes, right? But I do like being a girl. Um, so anyways, I always have been. What I'm saying, the whole point is that as I've grown and developed, those passions get a little bit more refined, Right. And even though there's this bigger picture, it becomes a little bit more focused and zeroed into a niche, if you will, I guess. And that's trying to find that. And I believe that's counseling men. Now, for a woman to go out and do that, that is kind of a risky. Especially, right, when you're thinking, ooh, some men are pretty scary, right? And if they don't have any respect for women. So I need to get into a place where I'm firm find myself some big brothers and some backup, right? Maybe. So these are those other other things, right? And I, But I know I want to help the helpers. So maybe it's counsel, helping the ones that are already counseling the men, right? Helping those men counseling the men. But I also think that men need the, the advice of the women too, right? Because if you're going to be talking about a woman, does a man know how a woman thinks? So for a man to get advice about a woman... For me, it makes sense to go talk to a woman. But it's hard when we have all these jealousies and all that. You know, that passion. That passion. You're building on something, right? And it's trusting in that, right? And if we dam everything up, right? We, we want to keep those waters flowing and not dam everything up. Because if we do, right? If you got passion, don't stifle that passion. Because it will burst open that dam, right? Oh, it will. It won't be the universe. That'll be you, right? Your feelings, your emotion. This little being screaming, let me out. I've had enough. Look at those mean adults aren't around. You're big enough to get me out of there. How come you're not doing something about it? Maybe. Start with this little in here. Mm-hmm. Right? Bunch of little kids in these big bodies trying to act like adults. A lot of us are. We're all just little babies here, all learning in the same boat. That's how we advance. So, north, this is the central card, indicates the integration point of all directional medicines of your personal unconscious. It is the power shield of your true self. This is the card of the circle of knowing the within, the taproot of your personal consciousness, knowing the true self, the within, and those without can never again deceive you. Right? You know who you are. You see how you've advanced along in your life, right? You, we can see it just in our bodies, 
we're not the same little being, but that little being is still within us. At the core, we are still the same. The bodies on the outside may have changed. At the core, we are still the same. And that core helps us to advance or helps to keep us back. How is your little helping you? No, 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 no. How are you helping your little, right? It's not the kids' responsibilities to take care of the adults, even our inner child. It's the adult self that needs to take care of that little self, all right? Let it be safe. Let it grow up and catch up, right? Because we get emotionally stunted. So let's see the advancements you've made already in your life, right? What is it that you've been weaving for yourself in your life, right? The threads, I love that. Like life is the tapestry, we're just but, but a thread in it, right? So do we get caught up in, in the details of perfecting this little, this little web that we miss the dinner that's on the outskirts of it because we're so focused on something inside here, right? So we want to do that within work, but there's a time eventually to, right, to shine that out. Right? You gotta look within, find that light, and then shine that out. It's not keeping it in there. Don't keep yourself trapped. Don't get tangled up in your own webs. Right? And of course, we talk about lies and stuff like to always be truth. Truth begins within, it begins with you. Because if you're fully honest with yourself, right, you're gonna be honest with others, and you're gonna be able to recognize when others aren't being honest with you. Okay? And that's how we advance in this world. If we all tap into that and take responsibility for our own little selves. That's right. We can help each other out. We can support each other. We can hold space. But we're all responsible for our own little selves. It's nobody outside. It's not an outside job. It's an inside job, right? We can have little help, some reflections from the outside, but it's all an inside job. We are all responsible for our own joy and our own happiness and sharing that out, right? Remember, don't give it away. You got to keep some for yourself. It's sharing it, right? Okay, I guess that's good for today. Have a wonderful one. And um, yeah, see you Thursday. I'm sorry. I don't think I got onto the live. I've been, it's been a releasing week. Up and down and scattered. Good stuff coming in. It's beautiful. And scary. And scary. Had an amazing day yesterday. And a little teary-eyed today. A little, a little scared. Yeah, but that's okay. I feel the fear and do it anyway. Right? Because sometimes the things we're the most afraid of is the things we need the most in our lives. It's true, right? Sometimes it's our passions that scare us the most because sometimes we can feel like we're out of control. We lose track of time and all that stuff when we get caught up in our passions. I mean, that's actually a beautiful thing, but it goes against what society is teaching, right? Because then if you're getting caught up in your passions, it looks like you're being selfish. It's just all for you. When you're shining your light, oh, you're serving one of the greatest purposes in this world. What we're all meant to do here. Right? This is the passion of the universe, getting to know itself and expanding itself. So important. So, needs your help too. Keep shining your light through in everything you do. Because this world needs you. So glad you're here. Thank you for being you. Biggest heart hugs ever. And have a wonderful, blessed day. Right. Okay, now the cards are shining. You didn't show us. You didn't show us. Little glimpse here. Okay, hold your horses. Right, I can't turn this camera around this way on this one. So, we'll do it this way. Don't mind my mess in my room. Oh, I'm not jumping over here. Don't oh, look at my mess, I said. What the heck? Okay, over here. Oh, look at my mess. Okay, so here we go. Let's lay back here. So, there's our theme, right? The vision quest. And looking at the details of how we've already manifested this stuff in our lives. Well, how we've gotten out of our own way and noticed how it's already there. It's already there. Right? It's what we focus on. Right? So there's our thing today. It's pretty cool. Take care of that little being. I'm pointing to it on the screen here like you could see that. I'm going to get my hair and my candle. So have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Biggest heart hugs ever. We'll see you soon.